Op dinsdag 13 juli 2021 werd een speciale receptie gehouden in verband met de Franse Nationale Feestdag op 14 juli. President Chandrika Persat Santoki en First Lady Melissa Santoki Sinacheri waren aanwezig tijdens deze speciale gelegenheid. Ook vicepresident Ronnie Brunswijk en echtgenoten, DNA-voorzitter Marinus B., DNA-leden, enkele ministers en andere hoogwaardigheidsbekleders gaven acte de présence. Het is met great plezier dat ik welkom u, Mr. President, in deze residence you already know very well. As I told you just now, you are here at home to celebrate our national day, the Bastille Day, on this value of liberty, equality, and fraternity. I welcome you as a long-time friend of France, and in particular of French Guiana, and now even more than yesterday in your own in your new functions. I welcome you as a symbol of the strength of Suriname's institutions which were able to allow alternation last year during the election where this embassy, the French embassy, fully played its role of international observer. A country with independent justice a free press, a sovereign national assembly, a government eager to serve its people, committed to fighting the scourges of corruption and illegal activities, a true democracy. And we are proud to be friends of Suriname. France is well aware of the difficulties you have been facing for a year now after having inherited a quasi bankrupt country. And I say quasi because I want to be diplomatically correct. <laughs> With moreover a global health crisis destroying, destroying human lives but also economic assets. And France is at your side to negotiate the best deal with international financial organizations. I am happy to welcome you in the presence of the new sous-préfet of Saint Laurent du Maroni, who will play a crucial role in the implementation of the joint declaration. Your minister, Mr. Hamdin, signed with mine in Paris on March 15th for the development of the border region. Happy to be with the Deputy Mayor of Saint Laurent, Du Maroni, faithful partner of the Embassy, and happy to be with the new first Vice President of the Collectivité Territoriale de Guyane, elected last week, who is also an inhabitant of the River Basin. Very happy with their presence because I remain impressed by my many trips on the river for the delimitation of our border that we also signed in Paris last March, trips by canoe which made me realize physically how much our two countries are, far from sharing only a border, in reality sharing the Maroons and the American people, a culture, a language, Yes, on the river, we are borders. Aitap Aliba Ununa Brada. And especially for the, with the presence of the Vice President of Suriname in Aukener, Aitapaha Liba Waha Barala. <laughs> this sharing makes up us proud and it also obliges us. It requires us to work together to improve the environment of the river by fighting, continuing fighting against prohibited scallions still operating on the river, by supporting the transition to mercury-free gold mining in the Maroni Basin, 
It is also our duty to offer prospects to the inhabitants of the region in economic and social terms. And also in terms of security in the face of drug trafficking, violence, violence and human trafficking which unfortunately often accompany illegal gold mining. It requires us to cooperate as we do with the generosity of the French Guyanese who have lived the same history as your populations because they often have the same origin. Whether in the health sector with the Hospital of Saint Laurent du Maroni and our health centers, in the field of education with our schools still open to Surinamese children during COVID situation, and with all our public services. I am thinking in particular of our firemen who intervene regularly on the road from Mongo to Albina. And we must not forget the culture we have in common. Which is why I am happy today to inaugurate with you at the residence a Tembe exhibition on loan from the CTG Museum on which adorns our walls today. It will be open to the public during the coming weeks, where I will be in holidays. <laughs> Mr. President, France believes that the new governments experienced by Suriname and Guyana last year, to which I will add that of the presidency of the local government of French Guyana with the election of Mr. Gabriel Serville last week, is a historical chance for a global strategy shared throughout the Guyana Shield, which we have in common. This chance, we want to distinguish it in three priority areas. First, address that of security for the stability and development of the region. It is the ambition of France as a balanced power at the service of peace and security to implement a dense network of friendships, strategic partnerships and alliances. And it is our ambition in the region to consolidate our strategic partnership with Suriname because we need to identify and address the same regional challenges. Including, including action of gangs who are unaware of border, the plague of illegal fishing that hurts jobs on the development of a blue economy, migration that, if they are not addressed, destabilize our territories. This is the goal of the conference we will organize in August in Cayenne with Suriname and Ghana by initiating the first strategic dialogue on the Ghana Shield, and we are pleased to invite the Minister of Defense and the Minister of Home Affairs to represent your excellency. The second priority is that of the climate challenge. Make the Guyana Shield the example of an intelligent forest preservation policy for climate balance, but also an asset for the development for the people who live there in a sustainable way. This is also in line with the 2.1 million euros that French cooperation has granted this year for the Native American people in Suriname. And it is our wish to intensify this cooperation in a bilateral way and also with the support of the European Funds Interreg on IDF. Finally, the third priority is regional economic development that goes through more regional integration. This is the reason why, reason why we are enthusiastic about the construction of a bridge between Suriname and Ghana. And we, are, we have in the future, in the near future, to build a bridge also between French Guyana and Suriname to ensure the necessary infrastructures throughout the Guyana Shield connected with Brazil. And it is also true for electric and digital interconnections. But there are other areas where we need to continue the economic integration. I think in particular of the oil industry with Total, the agriculture industry, air transport, 
also one of the conditions for development of tourism, of tourism and especially ecotourism. Let us exchange our tourists who come to Suriname and French Guiana from Europe and those coming to Guiana from North America. And you know, you will always be able to count on the French Guyanese who love so much to come to Suriname and I waiting to be able to come back <laughs> soon. Finally, economic integration is also the reason to ask the status of associated memberships of the CARICOM for our territories. Mr. President, you understand the wish of France and French Guiana to be more present, more involved in the region based or on our comparative advantages. We are neighbors confronted with the same challenges we share the Guyana shield, and just like you, we want to protect it and value it. We are a balanced country that wants to pick with all, backed by Europe, a determining factor of stability in today's world in favor of multilateralism. And we are also strong with our industries, our products, our technology, which we really want to share. Mr. President, yes, it is an historical chance with the new executive in, the, in our three territories to strengthen our links around the Guyana Shield, which is why I enthusiastically face the strong friendship between our people, our governments, and our two countries. Ununa Brada. It is my distinguished honor to address you on the eve of the celebration and commemoration of the National Day of the French Republic, La Fête Nationale de France. On this auspicious and important day for your country, Ambassador, I extend my warmest congratulations to the President Emmanuel Macron and to all the people of France. The significance of this day, which is rooted in history, marks the birth of the Republic. 232 years ago, the people of France stormed the Bastille. And since then, the French Republic went through many political and socio-economic challenges, which ultimately led France to become a respected an influential player in the international arena. The guiding principles of the French Republic being liberty, equality, and fraternity remain crucial today as we continue to ensure the respect for democracy, the rule of law, good governance, and human rights. Ambassador Shoney distinguished guests. The Republic of Suriname and the French Republic share historic ties which throughout the years have evolved in a strong partnership and friendship. As Suriname is your immediate neighbor, we have implemented this partnership and friendship based on the principle of inter alia, good neighborliness, friendship, respect, and mutual interest for the benefit of both our peoples. In addition to our cooperation in the field of security and combating crime, Suriname and France also have cooperation in the areas of trade, infrastructure, environment, tourism, culture, health, education, security, defense, and sports. The continued dialogue at all levels resulted in various cooperation programs. Furthermore, Ambassador, it resulted in the conclusion of several important agreements and the signing in Paris in March of this year of the protocol in addition to the 1915 convention settling the border in a part of the Marwena and Lava 
River. It also resulted in the innovative corresponding joint declaration between the government of the Republic of Suriname and the government of the French Republic on the joint management of the Marovena Maruni and the Lawa rivers and the joint development of the border area. I am heartened to observe that consultations were initiated on the implementation of this joint declaration just a few months after the signing. This certainly demonstrates the commitment from both sides to give effect to what was agreed and by extension improve the lives of our people in the border area. The engagement and involvement of the people living in the border area to whom the further development of the border will have the most impact should not be underestimated. In this regard, ladies and gentlemen, I will receive regular reports from the Minister of Foreign Affairs about the progress made on the implementation of the priorities as agreed upon the first phase of implementation of the joint declaration. In the area of judiciary cooperation, it is worth mentioning the signing of the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty with France in May this year for mutual legal assistance in criminal matters in Paris. This is the first step towards formalizing legal relations between our two countries. Ambassador Shuri and distinguished guests. Being an immediate neighbor of France, we have also benefited from the generosity in terms of donations received to assist Suriname authorities to curb the further spread of COVID-19. The exchange of experiences and information between our health, security, and defense authorities, it is exemplary and we look forward to further exchanges. This reflects the solidarity which is necessary to jointly address the COVID-19 pandemic. We look forward to further engagements as we all have to work on the post-COVID-19 pandemic recovery. Suriname is facing an unprecedented crisis because of the years of economic mismanagement exacerbated by the social economic impact due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But as Suriname, with our new government further charts, further charts a journey towards economic recovery, resilience and growth, it would therefore be remiss of me not to acknowledge the valuable support pledged by the French representatives to support Suriname in its recovery program, including the support via the French representatives on the IMF board. The discussions with French creditors, in particular the Agence Française de Development, AFD, are ongoing as well and we expect further support consistent with the parameters of the IMF supported program to Suriname on debt restructuring. Also, our geographic reality in the Guyana Shield can be further utilized to assume a leadership role in establishing a strategic partnership. This to contribute to the sustainable development of the Guyana Shield and ensure that no one is left behind. Ambassador Shoulin, distinguished guests. Climate change remains a threat to low-lying coastal states, in particular small islands developing states. Specific challenging is access to adequate climate financing. As we are all preparing for the United Nations Climate Change Conference of the parties COP26 later this year in Glasgow, we expect that participants can agree on ambitious commitments, including financial ones. We look forward, Ambassador, to also 
liaising with the French delegation to a certain possible synergies in our positions for the upcoming global climate discussions. It is only through global awareness and joint partnership that we can accomplish significant tangible results. Ambassador Joey, distinguished guests, please allow me in closing to reiterate the commitment of my government to deepen the relations with the French Republic at the bilateral, regional, and global level. Yes. Ambassador, with your permission, I wish to propose a toast to the good health and success of President Emmanuel Macron, to the government and people of the French Republic, and in the same warm spirit, a toast to the continuation of the genuine partnership between the Republic of Suriname and the French Republic. Uno Nabrada. <laughs> that was said, Ambassador, coming from your heart. And we are neighbor. And in this time of crisis, as a government, we have experience that in such time of crisis, we can count on our neighbor. And I can thank you for all the support you have provided. We are engaged with the French Financial Advisory Bureau, Lazard, to assist us as a nation to restructure our debt. And I've, I'm fully confident that that will lead to a very constructive and also a reasonable restructuring of our debt position. And sure, as I mentioned, I'm looking forward for further cooperation and contribution from your country, from your government, but also from your people. I know they like to face us Suriname. You see, uh, we're, we do have a special policy on getting the COVID-19 under control. Yes, there will be a momentum that there will be more freely movement of person and good between our two uh, countries and territories. Long live the everlasting friendship between our countries. God bless you all. Nou, het is inderdaad een uh, belangrijke dag, niet alleen voor de Fransen, maar ook voor, uh, voor ons natuurlijk, omdat we als buurlanden een bijzondere relatie hebben. Buurland omdat frans Guyana onderdeel is van Frankrijk. U heeft uh, misschien gemerkt uh, dat sinds deze regering is aangetreden, de regering Santoki, dat de relaties met onze buurlanden zijn aangetrokken, uh, op een hoger niveau zijn gebracht. Wij hebben sinds vorig jaar de relaties geïntensiveerd met verschillende overlegmomenten. En we hebben gemerkt dat er ook van hun kant uit, vanuit de Franse kant, een belangrijke rol wordt toebedeeld aan de relatie met Suriname. Dus wij zijn blij met deze dag natuurlijk. Het is een symbolische dag voor de Fransen. Het is de viering van hun onafhankelijkheid, een republiek worden. Dit zijn ook belangrijke momenten voor ons, want dit zijn de dagen waarop je geïnspireerd wordt om ook te werken voor land en volk. Um, maar ik moet zeggen dat de relatie tussen de beide landen uitstekend is. Uh, er zijn verschillende overlegmomenten. We hebben recentelijk ondertekend een verdrag, een overeenkomst waarbij de grenzen tussen de beide landen, frans Guyana en, Guyana en Suriname, zijn vastgelegd, historisch. Uh, daarmee is een belangrijk probleem opgelost, waardoor we precies weten waar Suriname begint en waar Suriname eindigt. Um, aan de andere kant moet ik zeggen dat we nog een stukje werk hebben in het zuidoostelijk deel. Daarvoor is inmiddels mandaat te geven. Dus binnenkort gaan uh, de technici uh, naar het zuidoostelijk deel van Suriname om ook te praten over die begrenzing. Maar daarnaast zijn de relaties ook op economisch gebied, op politiek gebied, op het gebied van gezondheid. We zijn zeer erkentelijk dat uh, de Fransen, uh, toen wij tekort hadden aan zuurstof een paar weken geleden, dat ze bereid waren dus ons met een stukje, met, met spoed, wat, wat zuurstoftanks te verschaffen. Um, daarnaast worden COVID-maatregelen natuurlijk uh, toegepast in het grensgebied. 
En uh, ik moet zeggen dat de Fransen inmiddels hebben uh, toegezegd dat dus het hele oostelijk deel van Suriname uh, gevaccineerd zal worden door hun, op hun eigen initiatief, met het uh, Pfizer-vaccin. Uh, dat vinden we belangrijk ook, zeker in het oostelijk deel, omdat er zoveel verkeer is tussen de beide landen. Maar ook op economisch gebied, met totaal als oliemaatschappij die in Suriname opereert reeds, is er natuurlijk een belangrijk moment. En we verwachten dat het alleen maar zal groeien. Dus de toekomst van de relatie Suriname-Frankrijk, Suriname-Frans-Guyana is uitermate niet alleen belangrijk, maar hoopgevend. Wat is dat met de verbinding te water? Te water is de verbinding redelijk goed. We hebben een veerverbinding dat twee keer per week vaart. Dat zal naarmate de COVID-19 situatie minder dringend wordt, zal dat toenemen. Maar uiteindelijk is, zoals de ambassadeur heeft aangegeven, is het de bedoeling dat er een vaste oefenverbinding komt met een brug uh, tussen uh, Albina en San Laurent du Maroni. Um, wij gaan daar gesprek over voeren in de komende maanden. Uh, wij hopen dat de Fransen bereid zijn ook daar steun, financiële steun te geven. En die bereidheid lijkt er te zijn. Als er een vaste oefenverbinding is over de Marowijnenrivier, maar ook over de quarantaine, dan heb je het hele noordoostelijk deel van uh, Zuid-Amerika dan eigenlijk uh, bij elkaar gebracht. Dat zal allemaal goed zijn voor toerisme, voor het personenverkeer, maar ook voor handel en voor export van goederen. Dus het zijn van dit soort belangrijke momenten uh, zullen we het moeten hebben in termen van economische ontwikkeling ook. Dus we zien het uh, als een project dat uh, in de naaste toekomst uh, gerealiseerd moet kunnen worden.